Hello, my name is Ryan. I got 11th place this weekend uh, playing Tempai at the Las Vegas Regional. Uh, my matches were two, uh, two Tempai, two Snake Eye, one Voiceless, one Runic Stun. My losses were to a uh, pack on Branded and a Cash Terry player. I won X2F for eight rounds. And I'll, here's the list. Um, thank you to all the homies and friends for playtesting. Uh, but yeah, I'll get into it. Starting off with three Chandra, three Pydra, and then two uh, Fadra. Uh, I feel like this is pretty standard. Um, going forward with the new support, maybe I might cut this to one. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, then three Fenrir. Fenrir was like really, really good this weekend. Um, just the ability to out certain things in a mirror match is really nice. Just being able to get rid of annoying field spells going second. Uh, this also just gives you a free discard for your field spells a lot of times. Uh, my hand traps were one Magnum up, which is also a Rota. Three Moonlit Chill. And then three Ash. Three Valor. And three Imperm. Uh... I decided to play these hand traps this weekend, uh, mainly due to Snake Eye and its popularity. Um, that's why I wasn't main Ogre. I didn't really respect the uh, Tempai matchup a whole lot because usually um, it's kind of it's fifty fifty. Like if they have the Shangen summoning, they're gonna do it, but usually they don't make the big ten before they go battle phase, so you're able to really interact there usually. Um, yeah, that's something that a lot of people were doing, unfortunately. Uh, probably the MVP of this whole weekend was Fenrir. Uh, just being able to out certain things, like I said. The most broken card in the whole main deck is this card. Um, three common. Common, just letting you, I think I killed more people with common than I did the field spell, which is also pretty bro broken. Um, a lot of people were just holding Ogre for this the whole weekend. Where you just doing this during battle phases, you're just game enough. Um, so that's it for the field spell and quick play. Um, three prosperity, obviously to find your stuff. The one terra farming because you got to play the one. Um, and then for board breakers, three droplets. Um, one further storm, or further dust storm, sorry, and two lightning storm. Uh, I feel like this is a pretty standard uh, list outside of some different hand traps. Um, Droplets is really good. Um, not much to say about that. Uh, the extra changes a little bit. Um, I played, not really going first package, I played one seals for going first, and seals is usually enough plus hand traps to win the games most this weekend. I played one phoenix, one striker dragon. Striker dragon is used to make gloomy. Um, and we play Hita because if they debury us, we can at least go into Princess, Raging Phoenix, into Zelantis for OTK. A lot of people like to shotgun debarrier at the worst time, which is during the main phase. Well, you're supposed to wait for the uh, Biden Dragon usually. Um, going to Synchros, one Moon Rose, one Black Rose, one Baby Tyrant Dragon. Uh, this card was really insane. Um, this let me OTK even if. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, I was, because during one of my matches, I lost that match, but against Cash Terry, uh, game one, I OTK because he got rid of Tyrant Dragon. This is another Tyrant Dragon, but just besides that, it just blows up things. This is a good generic seven. The stupid cards, uh, Biden, and then the big one. And the reason why this deck is so popular is this, being able to do like 18,000 damage during one battle phase is ridiculous. Um, side deck. One Drago, three D Shifter. Uh, this card's insane. Um, just being able to take your opponent off of a, a turn against Snake Eye, because usually them looping to make Princess, they just kind of have to pass underneath this a lot of times. Uh, I played Droll this weekend, uh, thinking there was going to be a lot of Rogue, which ended up being very, very true. I did not uh, regret putting this in the side. Um, cross out in the side over the main. Crossout was really MVP. Uh, I think every time I put this in, I won that match. 
So I won that game every time I put this in. So just being able to hit D barrier, any hand traps is just really, really good. Um, and then Cosmic, three Cosmic Cyclone because Cosmic is really good. When you're, if you're not maining it, you should be siding it if you aren't. Uh, the reason I didn't main it is because I felt like the board breakers a lot of times were more relevant in game one. But game two and three, this card became a lot more potent. And then 2D barrier. I didn't side three um, due to the fact that the side deck was really, really tight. Um, and usually, like, this is usually just enough to call off deep. Like, flipping up D barrier against the mirror match is really good, but also just cross having it for a cross out target is not bad. Um... But yeah, that was the main deck. I think the only card I would consider changing is taking out Moonlit for Crossout because Crossout was really, really good. Um, besides that, my round one was Runic Stun. I 2 would it. Ra round two, I played against uh, Snake Eye. I 2 it, owed it. Round three, I played against Cash. I lost. And then uh, played against... Runic again, uh, sorry, against Snake Eye, beat it, and then as the whole event was going on, uh, my only losses were to Pack on Brandon. That was like the main one, and Cash. Uh, they end up playing each other in finals, but besides that, um, I had a lot of fun this weekend. I'm happy. I uh, had a lot of fun playing this deck. It's going to only get better in the future, but till then, have a great day. Uh, bye.